Why does witchcraft affect you mightily? And I want to tell you, you're probably not going to like what I'm going to say, but you all know that does not. I want to say this to you in all sincerity. Many of you need to reflect on your life today. A lot of you have come across my teachings. A lot of you have commented on my videos on YouTube. And you tell me about how much witchcraft has affected you. And I want each and every person that has ever done that to ask themselves, why is this witchcraft so effective in my life? This is a question that you need to ask the Holy Spirit. You need to meditate because y'all know I always talk about meditation of the word. That is literally, that will never change. Take Ephesians 5 and 11, take Isaiah 11 and 2, and you need to ask God for yourself, why is this witchcraft so effective? What have I done to allow this witchcraft to be so potent in my life? Why can't I remember my dreams? Why was I in a tragic car accident? Why is my body so afflicted? Lord, what have I done to allow these curses to come upon me? As you all are aware, I always come with receipts. I never just talk, right? Proverbs 26 and 2, we're reading this in the Living Bible. An undeserved curse has no effect. Its intended victim will be no more harmed by it than by a sparrow or swallow fitting through the sky. Let's read this in the KJV. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. Now, I'm going to give you all some insight on Psalms 91 because a lot of people, this is like, I feel like this is the Christian staple. We love a good old Psalms 91. We love to quote this, right? But it's so funny to me how the very first sentence, it went right over y'all head, right? It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty let me break this down for y'all. Let me let me just help you, right? Psalms 91, let's read this in the Good News Translation. Whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty can say to him, you are my defender and protector. You are my God and you I trust. Notice how it says, Whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty. How do you remain under the protection of the Almighty? So many people tell me they saved. So many people tell me they go to church. And I'm like, you're not protected. You're actually not saved. You actually are heavily, when I say tormented, in your dreams, in your life, your children, all across the board. So when you meditate on Psalms 91 and it says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. He that dwelleth, many of you do not dwell in a secret place. You don't go to God. You don't read your word every single day. You don't meditate on scriptures. Some of you go so far when I correct you, you'll respond with a lie just out of offense. You know you're not meditating on the word of God. You know that you're not accurately fasting. You're not doing the things that God has called you to do. You know these things. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high. Many of you need to ask God, what does the secret place look like for me? That may look like an hour in the word of God every single morning. That's what that looks like. Can I tell you something? Even people that I no longer have any dealings with, I've released from the ministry, the words that I spoke to them cut them like a knife and they know the things that I said was accurate. So if you have come across me in any shape, form or fashion, and I prophesied to you, I've told you what thus said the Lord, even if you rejected what I said, you know right now at this very moment, even if you're still watching my videos, you know everything I told you was accurate. You know that your whole life is now different as a result of the things that I expose. My job, it's like I feel like I'm hired by God, really, to expose the works of darkness. I will go to great lengths to continuously expose what the enemy has done. This is part of my assignment. This is why God even created me. This is why my life was the way that it was. And he has me right where he wants me. And I ain't going nowhere. So many of you, I want you to go and ask God today, what does this secret place look like for me, Father? In Jesus' name.